What's going on guys, Ryan with Delta Patrol, back, another episode of Six Kill News, let's go. That's right guys, we're back, another episode of Six Kill News. I took most of last week off because I just wasn't feeling well, and uh, now we're back at it. I was just saying, you know, I haven't made like a proper video in a while, I've done a couple live streams. Uh, I did a Jetacon if you don't know what the hell that is, it's something I made up where I said, hey, I've got four gazillion figures that need to go to different homes. And I did a three hour live stream, which I planned on doing like an hour and it'd be like three hours and uh, sold a whole bunch of stuff. So everything I've, uh, if you purchase something, if you paid for something for me, it's on its way, it's shipped, it's gone. It should be at your house by the end of the week, I would imagine. And yes, for those wondering, I have a lot more. But that's not why we're here to talk about that. We're here to talk about six, I guess that technically is six scale news, but we're going to talk about some announcements, some releases. Uh, maybe we should talk about some giveaways. Maybe, maybe we should do that. I, okay, let's, let's start off. Let's start. Let's kick this video off with a bang. Let's kick it off with a giveaway. Now, recently I did a video review on three Ahsoka statues. Now, my friend Marcos over at Collector's Own sent me three statues and we're giving all three of these away. Now, I, I'm going to show you what they are. But you gotta go, that video has the instructions on how to win said statues, and there's, you know, it's just a thing. But if, in case you missed that video, for whatever reason, it said giveaway straight on the freaking thumbnail. So if you're just not interested, I get it. But if you happen to be interested, these are it. So I have uh, a Gentle Giant 1 6 scale Ahsoka bust statue with the Moray owl on there, looking all kinds of awesome. There's one of those. There's another 1-6 scale bust of Ahsoka. This is a Rosario Dawson version, if you happen to prefer that version, uh, right there. And then I also have an Iron Studios piece, a 1 10 scale Rosario Dawson Ahsoka 1 10 scale diorama piece. This one's pretty stinking cool. So uh, all three of these are going to go to new homes. you got to go check that video out. In that video, there are instructions on how to uh acquire said statues there's three of them should be three different winners and uh there we go now i will spoil this it's for the states if you're in the states qualify if you're overseas i am sorry uh this one's not for you I, okay there's that uh now in addition to that in addition to that We've got some other news, right? Uh, one of them being uh, right here on my desk, which you can't see in camera. I posted a photo on Instagram. I have the bark speeder and sidecar with the heavy weapons uh, trooper. Is that what they're calling this guy? Hold on, let's see what they're called. Yeah, heavy weapons trooper. There's instructions right there. I forgot what they, he, he doesn't have a name. Heavy weapons clone trooper. Anyways, I have this video. Um, I'm working on a video for it. I'm working on ways to display this thing. It is massive. Uh, so video coming soon on that for those wondering. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And, and it's, it might be, spoiler, might be one of the favorite pieces in my collection. Might be. It's it's just it's just damn cool. So stay tuned for the video on that one. It is coming uh, soon enough. Now, let's go ahead and get into the news. I've got announcements. I've got releases. we got upcoming what might actually be releasing very soon so that that'll be a thing towards the end of the video let's kick this thing off with the thunder toys god of the moon figure now this thing looks pretty stinking sick i gotta be honest with you guys it it, it looks pretty good however it is going to be humongous all right so the figure itself is going to be a little over 19 inches and his staff's going to be a little over 23 inches it's going to be it's going to it's going to be large it's going to be large uh, so space might be a thing with some of you guys with uh, with anybody. It's gonna be huge. I, I do have concerns about like stability. Like, is it, it? I don't know. Is it gonna be? It's a third party figure, so you gotta wonder: Are the joints gonna be great on this one? Are the ankles gonna support this giant thing? Although he's got a staff there to help support him, so I guess maybe it won't be too bad. Regardless, uh, he looks pretty good uh, posed up next to Moon Knight uh, right here. So I think it looks pretty badass. Now, uh, sadly. I no longer have Moon Knight because I gave him away uh, to a recent Patreon winner. So there's that. Um, it's a beautiful figure. Might be one of the best. I, I, I might, it, it is one of the best figures of 2023. No, no doubt about it. However, I gave mine away to Patreon supporters. So there's that. Uh, this thing looks sick. So therefore, I won't be getting this particular third-party Thunder Toys figure. Um, but it looks great. 
if you want to get one of these, Pop Collectibles will have them uh, for order. I mean, it's a third-party figure. It's not going to be terribly expensive. It's going to be lightweight, and I, I can't imagine shipping can be terrible on this thing. But um, it looks it looks pretty cool. You know, in the promo photos, it looks like single joints everywhere, which is to be expected, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just based on the photos, single joint elbows, single joint knees. Uh, at least that's what it looks like. And it doesn't look like a whole lot of ankle motion going on with those feet. On this particular photo, if you pay attention to the feet, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like, yeah, anyways. So I wouldn't expect a lot of posability out of this, but if you really like the show, it's something you might want to add to your collection for Moon Knight. Along with the SoSo Toys Mr. Knight, eventually SoSo Toys will, you know, release that. I I, I don't know. They're, they've, they've gone MIA for a minute. I don't know what's going on with them, but... Uh, hopefully they're uh, producing all kinds of awesome figures for us. But there you go. So you get pretty awesome skull head thing going on. You get the staff. You get a couple hands. Uh, it doesn't say that it comes with a display stand. So I would definitely recommend using that large staff to support this guy. Because, I mean, this is this is bordering quarter scale NECA figures. And um, when they fall over, they make big kabooms. Just saying. Moving on. Hot Toys has announced... Imperial Praetorian Guards. And this is the correct number that you need to order. I say need, but, you know, I use that term loosely. This is the correct number that I intend to probably order. <laughs> uh, I think three. I mean, this based on, the, obviously, seeing the show, these guys look pretty great. If you missed out on the Royal Guards way back when, and then you missed out on the Praetorian Guards from Last Jedi, these honestly look pretty damn cool. Uh, red with that crimson color uh, cloth suit. They got a couple different weapons. And this one, unlike the Praetorian Guards from before, you don't have to buy two different ones to get the different weapons. This one just comes with all the weapons, which is brilliant. Uh, honestly, I, I think this is cool. Although the other ones did have a little bit different helmet, if I remember correctly. Um, but this one's... Uh, now, now they did this in the, these promo photos where the blade lights up. It doesn't light up. There's no light up features. It's going to look like this right here. It's going to look like clear, transparent, plastic, purplish color, which is fine. But, you know, if it lit up, that would be cool too. Uh, but Vibro Arbor Blade with two wielding modes. Pretty cool. So there you go. Kind of dig that. Uh, I kind of like I like the longer, longer part. Right there. I, I just think that's cool. It's a good pose. It really, it's just a good looking figure. It looks like it's going to be posable, double bend on the elbows, no elbow armor. So it's going to have pretty good range of motion there. And then uh, hoping that the undersuit isn't too restrictive on the lower half, you can get some good uh, dynamic poses out of this guy. It looks great. But there you go. Three of them together, looking all kinds of badass against Paz Vizsla. Uh, I don't know if I'd, I'm not sure how I'll pose these just yet, but they, they look good right there. Uh, I kind of dig those. But there you go. You're going to get a generic stand. You're going to get the weapons. You're going to get some hands. And it's not terribly expensive. And I imagine not many people are going to order this. If I must be just predicting something here, I, I don't see many people ordering this. Uh, the ones who will order this will get multiple. And then everybody else will go, nah, I ain't buying that. Let me know which one you are in the comment section. Are you the I'm going to get multiple? Or are you in the... No, no way. I'm not buying that. Are you going to I missed out on Royal Guards, missed out on Praetorian Guards. I'm going to miss out on these. Or you just, just really didn't like this season of Mando and you said, screw it. I don't know. Maybe you're still salty about Paz Vizsla losing. Hot Toys imminent release news. You ready for this one? Yes, it is another Boba Fett. The 1-6 scale Boba Fett. Not the quarter scale. We got that one already this year. This is the one six scale Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett. Everybody's favorite Fett show. Out of all the Fett shows, this is everybody's favorite Fett show. Um, this is actually a pretty damn good looking figure. And out of all the other Fets we've had released, I don't know which one's the best. I don't know. There's been a lot, right? We got Bird Poop Fett. We got Nomad Fett. And then we got uh, Arena Suit Fett, which is probably the most badass one. Then you've got you know, Empire Fett, and then you've got Man Repaint Armor Fett, um, and then you got this one from Book of Book. How I don't know how many you need, but evidently all of them is the correct answer. Uh, stay tuned for this one. I don't. By the time you're watching this video, I'm not sure it's officially released, but it is releasing. It's so if you've got this on order, it's coming. Just throwing that out there. Uh, I might be ahead of the news on this one, uh, or depending on when you're watching this, but it's coming. So. There we go. We're, we'll have another FET to, really, uh, to review soon. I like this one very much. Uh, 
if he's able to do this and this knee, one knee pose, like that's pretty cool. Because not six skill, you know, most six skill figures don't like to do this, but I like I, I like this style of pant. Uh, I, I like I just I don't know I like this suit. No, the show was garbage. It was a complete hot mess, dumpster fire. Um, but you know, the figure looks cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm, all right, prediction in the comment section. How many more versions of FET will be released between now and 2020, or, or announced? Announced, because I don't think there's any more coming. How many more FET figures will be announced between now and 2024? Let me know. Um, <laughs> this one looks pretty badass, honestly. It, it looks good. Oh, the FET on the throne. I forgot about that one. FET on the throne. That was another one. Right, but I forgot about it. Look, this is this is cool. I think the pop of yellow on the knee, uh, the knee guards is pretty cool. I, I think that might be the part I like. I don't know, just I don't know. We'll see when it shows up. Anyways, I'll have it for review. If you want to get one of these from Pop Collectibles, you can. If you want to get it from somewhere else, do that. Either way. Uh, so Hot Toys teased us with an Ahsoka inspired figure, which is Sabine Wren. Sabine Wren. Now I made a post. In the, in the Facebook group. I made a poll. In, in fact, I don't even know the results of the poll. Anyway, let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it on the poll. I made a poll. And the poll in the, uh, the Patrol Facebook group was something along the lines. Yeah, I said, can you really call yourself a Star Wars fan and not know who Sabine is? That's what I said. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. I, I am, I am, I'm going to say no. I know somebody's going to say, well, that's gatekeeping. Yes, it kind of is. Kind of. I mean, kind of. Yeah. But I'm not saying you haven't watched Star Wars. You didn't enjoy Star Wars. That wasn't the thing. The question was fan. And I think we got to define what a fan is. I'm not here. To, I'm kind of stirring the pot a little bit, but that's okay. Um, everybody knew Ahsoka was coming. Everybody's hyped. I want, I want to see Ahsoka. I want to see Ahsoka. It's going to be hype. Uh, break the internet. The whole thing. Got a show. Rosario Dawson absolutely killed it as Ahsoka in The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett. So that was awesome. Uh, and, um, you know, I simply said, can you call yourself a Star Wars fan? And overwhelmingly, you guys said yes after almost 600 votes. I don't know what the actual percentage is, but it, it was like 70% said yes, 75% yes, and the other rest of us said no. And uh, I'm going to tell you that the 70 some odd percent that said you can, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to leave it there. You're wrong. You can argue with me in the comment section. You're wrong. <laughs> this figure is going to be badass. I can't wait. In fact, Hasbro, I think, announced a life-size helmet uh, from this show earlier. Might have been today. Might have been yesterday. I don't remember. But um, so that's cool. Uh, I, I will most likely be in it. it. This looks, you know, there's so many characters to get from the show that I right now I just want to enjoy the show and not worry about. I don't want to put much thought into what characters I'd like to have. Right now, I just want to enjoy the show. So, episode one and two, fantastic. Go watch them. Now, moving on to the next part of Six Skill News. I wanted to say which figures, and I, I didn't do all of them, but which high, like, anticipated figures might be released over the next little bit, or at least were scheduled to be released in the next month or two, right? As far as Hot Toys said, we're going to release them in this window. That's kind of what's saying. So, I, I got some, some, uh, some figures here to say, hey, look, these are... Things that are scheduled to be released, whether or not Hot Toys 6 is scheduled or not, you know how that goes. But um, Pattinson, Batman, and the Bat Signal. I guess you can get one or the other or the bike or however they're going to do this. Um, but the Batman and the Bat Signal. This film was fantastic. I loved it. Uh, there were some parts of it that were a little weird, um, you know, plot hole-wise. But I, I thought Pattinson did a great job as Batman, and I think this is a pretty badass-looking figure. And I think everybody's going to be like, well, I don't know if I want this one or I want the in art one. I, want this. I don't know either. I don't know, but this one looks cool, and it might be released in the next little bit. Uh, if InArt uh, releases it sooner, that would be good for them. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. This one's pretty cool. Are you getting this one? Let me know. Also, the Green Goblin from Spider-Man: No Way Home, a film that probably most people forgot about, and. Um, you know, I, I don't see me getting this. Uh, on my recent Marvel purge, I, I just don't see me getting this. Uh, I have the Toys Era Fiend, and clearly this is a superior figure, this right here, to the one I've got. But um, it does the job, and I, I just, you know, I don't know. 
It looks badass. I just don't know that I need it. Uh, Peacemaker. Now this one I want. I got. I must be honest with you guys. This show was flipping hilarious, and I will definitely be getting Peacemaker, uh, even though it fits nowhere in my collection at all. I think it's cool, and uh, yeah, and they upgraded the arms and everything. That's so. This is supposed to come out soon. Uh, Robocop actually did release. Uh, I did not get Robocop. It's just not a film that I enjoyed. Um, honestly, even I mean, obviously going back and watching now, this CGI was crap. But even back in the day, it's just I don't know. The the uh, the remakes of it I didn't really enjoy and this and this from Robocop three anyways it wasn't for me but it might be for you uh, it's already shipping if I uh, uh, remember correctly this guy I'm on the fence with the film was entertaining it was cool um, do I need this one would he fit in the background as a bounty hunter <laughs> in the Star Wars no probably not it was a pretty cool film. Uh, I'm un undetermined if I'm going to get this one or not. I haven't decided yet, but it's scheduled to be released sometime in the next little bit. I, I kind of want to check it I, for Toy Story reasons, but this isn't the Toy Story buzz, right? This is a different, it's a different thing. So I don't know. Uh, and then in art is shipping Gandalf. All right. Uh, I'll, I'm working on that. I may get one for review. I may not. I don't know. Um, I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. I'm, I'm just... Just not. Uh, I like Star Wars. I like Harry Potter a lot more than I like Lord of the Rings. So the, the Harry Potter line, uh, you know, I'm kidding on that one. But um, this looks pretty fantastic. Honestly, it looks like they absolutely nailed it. So we'll see. So if you happen to have gotten one of these on pre-order, stay tuned. They're beginning to ship. And I don't know if they're going to be super slow in batches like they did with the Joker. Hopefully they learned their lesson on that and they're not going to do that. But I don't, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know. Uh, so there's that. But that's the six scale news for today. Don't forget to go check out the video for the Ahsoka statue giveaways. Let me know your thoughts on today's video content. As always, click the like. See you next time.